Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to show you how to customize your Android smartphone using this fantastic launcher called Kobo Launcher. Let me quickly show you a few home screen possibilities using the Kobo Launcher. As you can see, these are beautiful, clean, smooth and refined possibilities. On top of that, it is a complete package that includes a lock screen, themes, wallpapers and icon packs and a few other hidden features that I will show you in a minute. So let's dive in and see how this thing works. I also recommend that you go to the Play Store right now and download Kobo Launcher so that you can play with it as I show you all the features it offers. Let's quickly touch on all the basics. Let's bring up the menu, the Kobo menu by pressing and holding the screen and there you have it, the Kobo menu. As you can see, there's a lot going on over here. Let's start off by adding and deleting a screen to see how that works. Let's tap on that button, add delete screen, and there you have it. You can scroll through the existing screens and you can click on X to delete a screen. It's gonna ask for confirmation and then you can scroll over. You can press that plus sign and that's gonna allow you to add any more screens that you want. And once you're done, you simply tap the back button and all the screens will be right there. And then if you click add, that's going to allow you to add applications, folders, or widgets right on the screen. All this is basic stuff, but I want you guys to see exactly what it does. Now, if you tap on widgets, you have some Kobo specific widgets that look really, really nice. And you have a nice variety, as you can see. Honestly, those are some beautiful widgets right there. And another thing that I like is if you pull down anywhere on the screen it brings up a search menu and from that menu you can search applications you can search the web let's search for YouTube application and look at how easy it is to find an application using that search bar and in addition to pulling down you can also pull up anywhere on the screen which will bring up another row of applications within this row you have an application drawer so if you tap that application drawer button in the middle it's gonna bring up the app drawer which is quite advanced. So let's go in and as you can see, you can search apps from here. You can scroll through as you please. It's quick, it's fluid, it's smooth. And you can also access some settings. If you tap that button on the top, you can sort applications, hide applications, change the icons and go into the Kobo settings. It is definitely a very well made app drawer. Now one fantastic feature is called the floating icon. So as you can see, there's an icon on the screen, which I can tap and I can actually move this and put it anywhere for my access. So let's put it right over there. And if you tap on this, it actually brings up some nice features. You've got the weather, you've got some application shortcuts, which you can easily customize. So simply uh, tap and hold, and you see the X symbol, and then just remove an application by clicking X, and then press plus, and that plus is gonna allow you to add any other application that you please. But the best feature is at the bottom. It says do it yourself floating icon. Just tap on that and that's going to allow you to customize the floating icon. You can change the size of that icon. You can pick a different shape for that icon, anything that you please. And you can change the transparency of the icon so it looks even nicer on the screen. Uh, when you're done, click OK and it's right there. Looks different, looks great. And of course, you can move it anywhere that you please. You also get access to this RAM booster to speed up your phone. So it's going to be sitting on your home as an icon. And all you have to do is tap on it. It's going to give you an animation and it's going to clear out your RAM and even give you a quick update on how much was cleared. And of course, you can access this from any theme that you want. All right, so back in the Kobo menu, let's go check out one of the major features, the themes. So let's tap on the button in the middle and that's going to bring up the themes album. And from here, you have a lot of options. It's categorized properly. Uh, you can go into the animal world, and this is going to give you animal themes. And if you want to download any theme, just tap on it and click the download button. And let's go back really quick to the main menu. If you tap that icon, it's going to show you all the downloaded themes. And from here, you can switch to any theme that you please at any given time. And let's go back to the main menu really quickly. And as you can see, you can scroll through the hot themes. You can scroll through the new themes. You have tons of stunning themes, so you will never get bored. Absolutely fantastic. Let's move on. And if you go back into the Kobo menu, you'll see that you have access to icon packs. So you can change the icons on any theme that you please. You can download a theme. If you don't like the icons, you can download an icon pack and apply them to that existing theme. So you have plenty of opportunities to customize the phone 
to your own sense of style. And of course, you can also access wallpapers from the Kobo menu, and that's going to allow you to download tons and tons of amazing wallpapers. And they're categorized, so if you're a gamer, you can go to the game world, and you can download game-specific wallpapers. And as you can see, they're pretty good. And here's one of my favorite features. Let's bring up the Kobo menu. And from here, you can actually change the scrolling effects. You have five different effects. Let's take a look at the windmill effect. So look at that beautiful effect as you scroll through your gorgeous home pages. Let's take a look at one more. Let's pick cube out. And then when we scroll, you get the cube out effect. Beautiful. So under the Kobo menu, let's take a look at the Kobo settings. Let's tap on that and you get several options. You get options like enabling or disabling infinite scroll, deactivating the notification bar, or even deactivating the floating tool kit. But the most important thing in this menu is the locker settings, which allows you to create and manage a lock screen. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's go into locker settings, and there we have it. Now from here at the bottom, quickly take a look at disable system lock. So if you disable the system lock, that's going to deactivate the stock lock screen, but then you can enable the lock screen that comes with the Kobo launcher, and you can see some cards on the top here that are being previewed. And when you're charging your phone, you get a special charging lock screen that looks beautiful. So let's uh, enable slide to unlock. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. And that's the lock screen. And then you can slide to unlock and it's going to be consistent with the theme that you have set for your phone. So all the lock screens are going to be different based on the current theme that you have installed. All right, so we have covered all the features for the Kobo launcher. So now all you have to do is go to the Play Store and download Kobo launcher now and start having some fun. Also, it happens to be free, so that's fantastic. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the description below and have a fantastic day.